Only on Eyewitness News tonight, family and friends and community members came together tonight to raise funds for a man who's still recovering from a brutal August attack. Sean Murphy was just released from a nursing home yesterday after being randomly attacked while walking home one night with a friend. Tonight, that friend shared their story and where Sean's recovery stands. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan has more now live from Narragansett. Tonight's fundraiser was planned way in advance, but after spending weeks in the ICU, the hospital and the nursing home, Sean Murphy was released just in time to attend his fundraiser this evening. Everyone here in this room and the entire community is with you just because you're a good guy. Yeah. That, that's it. It was just that simple. That support for Sean Murphy was evident at the Metatuxet Yacht Club in Narragansett. I'm just so grateful that something so evil, something so beautiful, has given birth. Sean, a quiet guy, didn't want to talk with us on camera, but he was grateful as friends and family enjoyed pasta and pizza and bought raffle tickets all to help him with his medical bills. Back in August, Sean and Brian Watson were walking home from a bar in South Kingstown when they were jumped by a group of teens. Walked that same route by myself before and got forbid he wasn't by himself that night because he would have just been left there. Brian suffered minor injuries and was back at work the next day. Sean spent several weeks in the ICU. His bosses, Leo and Julie of Leo's Pizza, organized this fundraiser to help out their employee who they consider family. The whole community has been so unbelievable. Everybody's heart has opened up. And so have their wallets. Julie says so far the community raised $6,000 for Sean. Sean and Brian overwhelmed and grateful that their community has stepped up in a big way. He still has a long road ahead of him, but uh, definitely we're very optimistic that he's going to make a full recovery. And that was Kelly Sullivan reporting. Now, Sean is very optimistic and can't wait to get back to work. Julie says he'll always have a spot waiting for him at Leo's. And Brian believes all of the suspects involved have been arrested.